Cancer, welcome back to the channel, Fourth House. My name is Antonio. Call me Tony. We are gathered here today for an extra tarot card reading for you using the Lightseer's Tarot deck. Basically, just adding some extra readings to the channel. Uh, what do we got for you today as a channel message here for Cancer? Uh, I mean, you can't help everyone, pretty much. Cancer is a very nurturing, very emotional sign. Deals in the home life. So, um, there's a couple things. The more peaceful and the more comfortable your relationships are, the more you're able to get things done. Um, but don't spread yourself too thin. You can't, again, you can't help everyone. You can't nurture everyone. You can't heal everyone. Let's see what we get. See what energies are coming towards you, what's surrounding you, what the universe has to say, any advice. Ooh, got some distorted energy here. All right, Cancer. Seven of Pentacles. May need to watch the Gemini reading. We have Seven of Pentacles for you as well. So something you've been invested in could be your home life could be your finances here an emphasis on your finances maybe there's something that you should have taken care of in the past that you did not let's get some more cards here we have judgment so there's a there's a judgment coming towards you in regards to your finances this could be a new job maybe you've just been released from an old job similar imagery here judgment and then we have the queen of cups so this is a baptism. So yeah, you're being released from something here. This could be released from imprisonment. Now this could be false imprisonment. Uh, but again, with it being pentacles, seven of pentacles, an innate ability, an innate talent, something that grounded you or kept you uh, financially stable. Uh, there's been a there's a judgment moment being called on that situation. Queen of Cups. There's being a washing or a cleansing of that situation here. page of cups <laughs> this could have had something to do with some type of love relationship as well this could have been flirtation at the job or some type of fraternization the higher font yeah boundaries were crossed spiritual values and lessons were crossed taurus could have been dealing with a taurus three of pentacles yeah definitely work associates people wanting to work with you uh so co-workers could even be some type of um, leader here, anointed leader here with the Hierophant. So I would say boss, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Now you could be uh, developing uh, some type of business yourself here as the Hierophant, as the judgment being released from this financial situation here. It's almost like a, an artist being released for some type of contract or 360 deal. So that they're able to take creative control, they gain their happiness. The Hierophant, they learn a very, uh, very serious lesson. Could be spiritual, and then they get the creative control to develop things themselves here, from the ground up. So what I'm getting, let's see what else we're getting here for Cancer. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Again, it's almost like getting cut from a contract or having creative control over your own uh, artistic talents, your own ability, your own skill, maybe even your own business here. Maybe you've learned how to uh, do something. Yeah, death and rebirthing process here. Definitely ending some type of cycle or some type of a relationship uh, or some type of thought process that you have in life in regards to work or finances. Maybe you think, maybe you thought that you had to work your entire life in order to achieve abundance, but there's other options as well. There are, um, there's entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. That's Scorpio energy coming towards you. So again, that's information, that's knowledge, that's know-how. Could even be a little bit of occultism as well. Would you believe that most of the world is run off occultism, numbers and words and letters that are encoded and encrypted? Other signs and messages that are hidden from you. It's how the most powerful people, the most richest people who you don't even know what their face looks like, run the world through occultism, through words and numbers. Every time you fill out a job application, <laughs> it's a, it's pages and pages of words and numbers. 
again that's the spiritual message here uh, the Sun is coming out here so this is a revelation this is a spiritual download this is insight this is a lot of creativity as well again you could be creating some type of side job side hustle or new business for yourself could be children involved here there could be pregnancy it could have been in an, an immature love affair as well and it produced is producing children we're getting the six of wands a victorious moment here you could be traveling towards a victorious moment or people are coming towards you seeking enlightenment here you are seen as the hierophant a great guru that's uh that's learned a lot of valuable lessons here taurus energy being very disciplined and then we have people coming towards you to learn your spiritual system or learn your spiritual value or to have some type of celebrity spotlight moment with you. It's almost like they found the Holy Grail is what I'm getting. The Tower card, Scorpion coming up twice here. An aha moment or a destructive period. Now this could be someone, this could be karma coming towards someone and someone's business has gone awry because they're not paying enough attention to it. Maybe they could have been delegating. And that's what I was saying again, I think on Aries is reading, there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. There's a difference between knowledge and wisdom. You can have, you can be, uh, um, in order to be a great leader, you have once had to be a great follower and vice versa, if that's possible. Now you can be a great guru or a great teacher and you can teach someone as much as you know, maybe even more. But if that person is not able to apply these things, I mean, what's the point? So that's what I have for you. Uh, let's see what additional messages we have. Any synchronicities. We have grounding the reading, the seven of pentacles. So I feel like this is some type of financial um, investment that you have made or thinking about making. Again, you could be man uh, investing in yourself, creating your own business. This is my reinvesting in self card or my self love card in regards to finances. Sevens are also, uh, seven of um, pentacles are also, um, it's a sort of physical boundary. Um, I'm not getting a whole lot of patience here, although it involves patience. Nine would be the harvesting. Seven of Pentacles would be the investing. So you're ready to make a solid investment in yourself here. Could be ready to make a solid investment in your spiritual life, your romantic life, but I'm really getting uh, your monies and finances. But all of these things match up and all of these things intertwine. When you're able to think straight and when you have a spiritual structure or discipline about yourself, you're able to do these things like create these corporations and create these businesses. You hear the birds chirping. When pigs fly. So a business idea that you have that you think is like kind of off kilter or kind of strange uh, like we had a woman selling farts throughout the whole entire pandemic for a thousand dollars a jar It's something that you have like a, a dream or something hit you an aha moment hit you here with the uh, tower card And you're thinking about starting a business about it You may even be thinking about getting a second opinion, but you don't know how that's gonna turn out So you're meditating on this idea Develop more ideas in the background uh, while you uh, continue to plan to um, open or start this new business here. This is going to be a new financial journey for you here. You're traveling towards your, okay, I'm getting you're traveling towards your oneness. So that must be your happiness. Yep, Ace of Cups. Don't judge yourself too harshly as well here with the judgment card. You have to realize that um, people that came before us weren't smart enough to uh, solve a lot of issues that we're still in, dealing with today. People have been talking about global warming for years and years and years. And also uh, nurturing energy is what I'm thinking about. Um, it's not always the parents or the leaders that teach the followers. Sometimes it's the children that teach the leaders as well. Yeah, you're gonna be um, coming across some very spiritual lessons and values if you have already not. And people are gonna be coming towards you to learn them as well. So again, it's almost like someone saying that they're fresh out of life, high school, 18, talking about they're a life, a life coach. How could you be <laughs> when you have a 36-year-old that's lived twice your life, a 54-year-old that's lived three times? So it's like, 
you have to look at these people with a side eye sometimes <laughs> let them let tell them to pull up their receipts <laughs> the truth scorpionic energy the things that they're hiding <laughs> the tower card which is destruction being being honest with someone uh stripping something down to the bare minimum to see what it really looks like judgment card that's when you can make your honest assessments about it ideas that seem practical ideas that seem impractical but indeed some some people are very creative and they can spawn these things with little to no energy uh just takes discipline man like people imagine how long it took to write the bible and think about how long it took to put it in the context that they put it in and then you have to remember that everyone didn't read the bible not even kings and queens they were stupid <laughs> Imagine how much energy it took to uh, translate the Bible. So that's what I have for you today. Everyone thinks an idea is weird or strange at some point. It started as a concept and now years and years and years later, we still have people talking about these different things, Bibles and ancient scriptures and all that type of thing. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, cancer, start your business, heal yourself. I mean, you may even be helping to heal the collective with this uh, this business as well. It's probably going to be some type of storefront, knowing you. Uh, the home is where the heart is. So if it's not a home outside of your house, you're probably going to be buying some type of separate storefront or something like that to uh, manufacture your ideas out of. That's what I have for you today. Make sure you like and subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.